Dream to land on the moon or colonize Mars? Learn coding. Soborno Isaac Bari, known as God of Mathematics, is teaching C++. C++ computer science tutorial. Today we are making a simple virtual uh, calculator. We are only going to add one plus one, but you can also custom uh, uh, like alternate the calculator using uh, multiplication, division. You can even add decimals. Multiply decimals. That would be a good thing. Yeah, it's a virtual calculator. So, without further ado, let's begin. So the first four basic lines. So the first line is, of course, you have to go to the library. Hashtag include iostream. Whoops. Now, now this is crucial in programs like that cancerous one where you have to uh, put the school schedules from Monday to Friday. Yeah, that is, oh, gosh. Mm -mm. It, that would be crucial. Otherwise, for every count, you would have to write STD uh, colon colon. It, 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 uh, and for people who forget a, uh, everything a lot, you should just use using namespace STD, okay? So, using namespace STD. Yeah, it's just necessary in large pro in cancerous programs like the schedule weeks day schedule one. <laughs> int main, of course the main function. Oh, no semicolon, sorry. And then the body for uh, curly brace. Now it really starts to get hard. Uh, so, uh, you can also use float, but today we're going to be using int to label the variables A, B, and C. Wow, they're getting all wrinkly, like markers now. Hmm. Uh, so, hmm. uh, int A, B, C. And then you have to write count. Enter A. Hmm. So, so it then, when you start up, the, run the program, it will start saying text enter A. And then you can just enter whatever weird number you can think of. Hmm. And, and uh, this is not like the other calculators where it has like a limit. Where uh, some calculators have uh, that thing, error overflow. Yeah, this doesn't have it because it's a computer. I'm pretty sure it doesn't overflow. Uh, so, enter A. Enter A. And then end out in A. And then we hit the next two lines are the same thing, except with B. If you don't say enter B and just say enter A again, the computer will think you're trying to add the same uh, thing. Send B. Uh, just for, for the computer to suck the value up. And then uh, we put C equal to A plus B. Mm -mm. And so the computer remembers what we're trying to do. Count and uh, so A plus B equals C. Uh, and then you, the, it doesn't end there. You have to put the insertion operator, then C, and then another insertion operator, and then end out. And then, I'm pretty sure this is the grand line. Yeah. 
a grand line. Return zero. They said from the beginning, like the sign, like if you erase and put a multiply, it will multiply the two things instead. Yeah, you can customize. You can even add any amount of numbers you want. So this is like a virtual calculator. Just demonstrating that this works. Uh, so I started to code. Don't be confused me with refat Barry, by the way. That's my brother's name. So hashtag include iostream. This is just going to help me a bit. iostream using namespace std. I remember it is stuck in tornado daily. Then int the main function. Okay. And then the curly braces start. This is where it gets really intense. Mm -hmm. So int a int a comma b comma C. You can also write comma D to customize the the amount of numbers you want to write. And then semicolon, I believe. And then the first count, as I said, you need this to like enter the thing. Count um Look how, what do I want to write? Enter A. Hmm. And then end out. And then as I said, sin, put the extraction operator, not the re-extraction operators, two. Uh, a, a, so it sucks it, it, the value of A up, and then semicolon, the, the next line. Okay, so now, number eight is the same thing, just with B, so I might as well, command C, command V. and then change all of this to B. And so, now we have to write C is equal to A plus B. And then semicolon. Yeah, I think that's how it works. And then we put the next count And then our um, so A plus B equals C. You don't necessarily have, you can necessarily add three or four or maybe even five to customize, but we're not doing these customizations today. Uh, you can go uh, uh, copy this program and customize it on your own, okay? So A plus B equals C. So A plus B is equal C. And then we put the, the, the actual variable C here. And then end out. And then return zero. Yes, all is well. No, I didn't. I didn't just write return zero. Return zero. Okay. So the um, minimum amount of slimes this can be is about eleven. But let's run this anyway. So, enter A, 
enter A. Let's see. Let's say we want to add five and six. Uh, no, six and six. So, no, six and seven. Enter B is seven. If this shows 13, then you have to copy this and subscribe right now. So, well, we know that we already got A plus B equals C, 13. So, uh, actually, let's actually add something else now. 7 and 9, how about? Whoop. I, I, I accidentally moved this. And I accidentally deleted this. Enter B, 9. A plus B equals C, 16. What the? Well, at least, at least... Subscribe to Bari Science Lab to fall in love with math and science, especially programming.